It's the only city in Hawaii named the All-American City. It's also a place where Money Magazine ranked it as one of the best places to live in the United States. There's not really a big attraction in this neighborhood, but it's just a great place to live, a place where kids still ride bikes and walk to and from school, where neighbors hang out in cul-de-sacs and garages for football games, and where you just still feel comfortable to borrow a cup of sugar from your neighbor. Welcome to Mililani. I feel like Mililani is a hard neighborhood to film because there's not like a beach, you know? Have you seen that movie Wayne's World? No. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> other people have. In the movie Wayne's World, there's this part where they're like, oh, go to Hawaii. And then the scene flashes and they say, hi, I'm in Delaware. I feel like that's how Mililani is. It's like, hi, I'm in Mililani. In this video, we'll look at the two main parts of this flagship master plan community, Mililani Town and Mililani Mauka. We'll talk location, traffic, homes and prices, things to do, and food. Although we're not gonna eat food here in Mililani, we're gonna head over to the town nearby in Wahiawa where they have some really great hole-in-the-wall places. No more, no brownies, shucks. As with all of our videos, our goal is to get you to feel like you're really here. Check out our Manoa video, as that's a neighborhood that's very similar to Mililani as far as weather is concerned, the terrain, and just the feel of the neighborhood. Also check out our video on Eva Beach, as Eva Beach took a page out of Mililani's book and followed the master plan lead. Mililani is located about 15 miles northwest of the Honolulu International Airport. I feel like I'm always saying traffic sucks in these videos. I said it in the Ko'olina video. I said it in the Eva Beach video. Yes, there is traffic coming here, but it's a little bit different. Coming to Mililani, you have the H1, H2 merge. H2 heads all the way up to the North Shore. And when you drive to Mililani on the H2, it's like this vast several miles going through gulches of open freeway. And you'll wanna like put the pedal to the metal but slow down cowboys and cowgirls. There's always a motorcycle cop waiting in the shoulder to tag you. Now the morning commute is pretty brutal between 5.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. if you're heading all the way into town past the airport. Coming back home in the evening, the commute is really heavy from like 3.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. But if you're at Pearl Harbor or Hickam, you're in luck because your commute might be under an hour and when there's no traffic, it's about 30 minutes. But when you come home to Mililani, you're greeted with lots of greenery and parks and walkways like this. It's really like coming home and putting on your favorite white cotton t-shirt. Mililani sits about 600 feet above sea level. Now one exit away, you've got a Costco, but you've also got a new community called Koa Ridge. Watch our video on that that we did a long time ago. Koa Ridge is being developed by Castle and Cook. Castle and Cook is who developed Mililani. Right now, Koa Ridge is about 500 homes into a 3,500 home master plan. Mililani is a great family-friendly area. You've got seven records recreation centers with swimming pools. And when you're a homeowner here, you're a part of the Mililani Town Association, you pay about $45 a month or so, and you get to have access to all of these recreation centers with swimming pools. There's parks, there's walkways, it's very dog friendly. You'll see soccer games and baseball games. You've also got a really great golf course here. Mililani is known for having some really great public schools. They've also got a really good private school called Hanalani Schools. This is Mililani High School. They excel at sports. I believe they've won football state championship a couple of times. It's one of the largest high schools in the state with about 2,500 students. And uh, I went to school here in Mililani for a few years, so must be good. This is one of the largest homes you'll find in Mililani Mauka. This one's currently on the market at 1.789 million. It's over 3,000 square feet on an 8,000 square foot lot. Mililani Malka homes were built in the 2000s with completion in 2008, which completed the entire Mililani master plan. There's nothing else being built here that we know of, which is probably why Mililani is just so steady in terms of appreciation. Mililani Malka homes are about a million dollars for about 1,500 square feet on three to 5,000 square foot lots. Homes like this one go up to $2 million for 3,500 square feet on seven to 8,000 square foot lots. These are homes that feel familiar to our military service members or really to anybody that has an attraction to homes on the mainland. Mililani Malka and Mililani Town are split by Kamehameha Highway. 
they're two completely different worlds. Of course, Mililani Malka is newer. Mililani Town is known as Old Mililani. And some of the homes in Mililani Town come with swimming pools. I mean, this is an all-American city. Let's go check one out now. Homes in Mililani Town were built in the 70s and 80s. To me, they're kind of reminiscent of your favorite home in your favorite 80s movie. Now, homes here in Mililani Town are slightly smaller than what we saw in Malka, but they might be on larger lots. You can expect to pay between 800 to 900,000 for a 1,200 square foot home on about a 5,000 square foot lot, up to 1.3 million for a 2,000 square foot home on a larger lot. Now, a home like this that's got a lot of character and has a pool in the backyard might go for for about 1.25 million to 1.3 million, but it's not for sale. Now, if you're a swimming pool lover, but you're not lucky enough to get a house with a pool, your mandatory membership to the Mililani Town Association is about 50 bucks a month, and it gives you access to seven rec centers with basketball courts, tennis courts, AKA pickleball courts, and swimming pools. Every time I come to Mililani, my husband tells me to come to Wahiwa because it's just a few miles away to grab these brownies. And Wahiwa is this really cool, small town, has a lot of really fun hole in the wall eateries. Like there's some good Mexican. Our island is known for not having very good Mexican, but here in Wahiwa, they do. And there's another place called Sunnyside that has these really great plate lunches and pies. But uh, we're gonna go to Kilani Bakery and grab these amazing, brownies, but I went to elementary school here for a couple of years. My mom grew up in Wahiwa. It's totally different from Mililani. It's a plantation town. At one time it was like popular for military. It's still popular for military to buy homes here because of its proximity to Schofield. Um, you can get a house here, a very old house, for around seven hundred dollars to $800,000. If you really like fixer-uppers, this is a great place for that because the homes are older and they're built on post and pier foundations so they're easy to renovate but it's just a town with a lot of character which is a nice way of saying it has a lot of character so you don't have any brownies no more no brownies shucks oh well save me the calories well this is Kilani bakery it's a favorite for years and years and years in my family and among friends and uh, I love to buy these for clients as well so I'll make sure to come earlier next time Although Mililani doesn't feel like a typical Hawaii neighborhood, it really is just a nice place to live. Now, I might be a little bit biased because I spent a few years of my childhood here and also bought my first house here as a newlywed and stayed for 10 years. I still have family here. I still got friends here that I consider family, but people just really don't move away from here once they get here. I mean, you'll see people going from a townhouse maybe to a bigger house up the street or from a big house into a townhouse down the street. By the way, Mililani has some really great townhouses, ones that live like homes with carports and little yards. You can find those between the prices of $500,000 to $800,000. Also, Mililani has the only 55 and over fee simple community called Ola Loa. But you can really see how this is a community that was built for people in all stages of life and for people and families to just really stay close to one another. If you want to get to know Mililani a little bit more, please let us know how we can help you.